Okay, we're back. And then if you remember in the last uh, video, we did a histogram stretch of the original image, of my working image. And we also made these stretches of some clones, right? Normal stretch, which kind of matches that. And a super stretch. Now you're, so follow me here. What I'm going to do with these stretch images is create luminance masks out of them. So I want to take my quarter stretch and what I'm going to do is go into my channel extraction, uncheck my A and B and just check my luminance and drop the process icon into the quarter stretch image. Boom. Now what I'm going to do is rename it, double click on my image icon and we'll call this M33 Loom Mask QS for quarter stretch. And then I'm going to go ahead and just delete my clone. I don't need it anymore. Because remember, all I wanted was the luminous channel. I didn't want all the data. We'll do the same thing with my super stretch. Drop the process icon in. And I'll get rid of my clone. So I got my lumens channel here. And we'll do M33 Loom Mask SS for Super Stretch. Okay. I can get rid of this now. And I've got two masks. So what I want to do is this. I'm going to take my working image, which is right here. Blow that up a little bit. Now that I have those two windows with the masks, if I right click on my image and hit mask and select mask, now my image has come up. <coughs> so what I'm going to do is this. Whoops. I'm going to clone this one again because it's my stretched image. Now I have two of them. And what I'm going to do is move these over to my second workspace so they're not in the way. And I do that by right clicking to workspace and workspace 2. Now I'm looking at my two images. Oops. There we go. So I'm going to take this one and select my mask, my quarter stretch mask on that one. And the red means what is not going to be messed with basically, right? So in this case when I select a mask and select the whatever mask I'm looking at, you see the red is going to mask the background, which means if I do something to it, it'll mask the background. Now, consequently, I can go mask, select mask, and invert it, and now it masks the foreground or the structure, and then I can work on the background. So in this case, with an inverted mask, I'm masking the foreground and structure, working on the background. If I do not invert the mask, I'm working on the foreground and structure and masking the background. Make sense? So now what we're going to do is apply the super stretched mask. And you see in this mask, now I have a lot, I'm looking at a lot more structure and a lot more of the faint detail than I was actually looking at with the quarter stretch mask. So that's the usefulness of once you did a stretch to extract the luminance channel and give it two extractions and give yourself two masks to work on because you might want to work on the faint inner core a little more and then you want, might want to be look, working on it and want more of the faint detail to look at. So remember when we work on them we apply the mask so we can work on either the foreground and structure or the, or the background if we invert the mask. 
and I like two luminance masks, one that's super stretched. Uh, we're going to stretch the histogram on until the uh, photons start screaming in agony. And that way I've got all of my faint, deal that I can, faint detail that I can work on. So I hope this uh, video was insightful and helpful to you as it concerns um, luminance masks. And in the next video, we'll do color calibration. And I'll actually do the color calibration on both to show you how the color calibration will give you different values based on that super stretched luminance mask or the regular luminance mask. Thanks for watching and see you next video.